Families tend to be complex groups. Um, we fall in, we fall out, we have rows and arguments, but we're still joined at the hip. When somebody's dying, everybody wants what's best for the person. So we're all coming at that from different angles. So we all think we want different things, all for the right, right reason. So one person might say, don't mention the dead word. Another person might say, um, don't tell mom she's got cancer. Another might say, um, nobody cry in front of mom. Things are hard enough, it's difficult enough. Uh, nobody's to mention anything sad. Let's only talk about good news. In the middle of it, you might have one person saying, I think mum should know her diagnosis. Um, and that can be a very hard place to be for that one person. Uh, so how do you manage conflicting views? Um, well, I think sometimes it's very hard for a family to sit down together and work that out themselves. And that's where trained staff come into the fray. When you're so closely connected to somebody who's dying, you don't see the subtle changes. We need staff to come in and tell us. Um, and often people miss opportunities for having big conversations because they don't see the end coming. They'll think about, when is she going to die? They'll think about, will I be here at the end? They don't think about, how will I spend the time before the end actually comes? So people need to ask questions like, is there anything I'd like to say to mum if I had the chance? Now, if mum was to die right now, what regrets would I have about what hasn't been said so far? Is there anything I haven't told her? Is there something I'd like to say to her again? Take the time to do it now. This is coming to an end. How do I want to feel when all this is over? Do I want to be somebody who was the blockage? Do I want to be the person who stopped all of this conversation because I want to protect the person and not have them upset or tearful? Or do I want to be the person who actually allowed this person that I loved to be fully alive until the moment they died? That they can live every moment in the way they want to live it, right up until the moment they pass, and that I can be the person who helps them through that door in the way that they want to go. To me, that's the greatest gift you can give to the person, is just let it happen.